So I've got my pieces of radish squashed up. Then you're going to have your students, so I have my cup of Benedict's. And for these experiments, because you're using such small tubes, you don't need a lot of solution, which is really great. Um, and you just have them fill the rest of their tube up with Benedict solution. And I'm filling it kind of close to the top. And you'll see there's not much room there. And that's nice because then what I'm going to do next is you're going to boil some water. And then you can pour it into a coffee cup. And then students can transport it back to their lab group with a lid on. And in this lesson too, every group is not doing every indicator. Only um, because this lesson is done jigsaw, groups are just doing one type of indicator and then sharing out the results to the rest of the class. So um, in this case, I have three groups doing a Benedict test. So I have three coffee cups filled with hot water. And it stays hot for a pretty long time. And then all students need to do then once they label all their different tubes. Um, and so for example, this one is testing um, radish. So this should be a positive control. Um, you can, students should drop it into the hot water. And then it, it'll kind of, if it's filled up most of the way, it'll bob down into the water. I'll kind of show you what I mean. So you can see it's just bobbing up and down. Um, here's the one I just put in. And then you have to wait about five or six minutes. And um, when they're done, they should look like this. And this would be a positive result. So you can see clearly there was a difference. So about five or six minutes, you'll see a color change. Um, and then here is one you can see floating around that has a little too much air inside of it. Try it. And it's floating sideways, and that's fine. It still will change, too. It just it might take a little bit longer because it won't get as much heat. Okay, and that's it.